morning and welcome to Lambeth United Methodist Church, Memorial United Methodist Church. It's good to be with you all this morning. Uh, we are so glad uh, that even though we are distant uh, in physical nature, that we are connected and joined by the same spirit. If you're a guest with us, we invite you to let us know you're here and you can comment or also if you want to uh, fill out the form that we've put in the comments as well, we would love to do that just to reach out to you, not to not to hassle you or track you down, but just to say thank you uh, and, and be, let you know that we are grateful that you have joined us this morning. Um, it's so, so good to be with you. I've got a few announcements this morning. I want to let you know that the administrative board continues to meet just about every two weeks, and they are working really, really hard. They have created a top 10 for getting back in person. They have created plans in place for that. We're looking soon to potentially do a training and we'll need some ushers to come alongside to be able to help us to do that effectively. Uh, I know it has taken time and I know we're all tired and we're anxious as to what next steps are, but I want you to know and assure you that the administrative board has been working very, very hard and we've been working together uh, to create some really solid and sound plans uh, to both maintain safety, but also uh, look at what it might look like to be able to get back together. So be patient with us, and we just invite you uh, to continue to pray uh, with and for this body um, and for this church, and just asking God for continued leadership and guidance during the season. I also wanted to let you know that soon, starting this fall, probably in September is what we're looking at, that we'll be starting some new fall formation opportunities. So some things may look a little bit different and some things may be in person in safe ways. Some things may be on Zoom and we will probably continue some of the things uh, on Facebook as well. And so I just want you to continue to be looking out for that. We will send you uh, information and correspondence via mail, email, and also through our social media platforms, uh, including Facebook. So. We just invite you to continue to stay in tune and in touch as we seek at our level best to communicate with you effectively during this season. That's all I have this morning. Let us prepare our hearts, our minds, and our souls for worship this morning. join me this morning in your worship guide, in your bulletin. Uh, some of you have received those by mail. Some of you have seen them come across on the Facebook page. Uh, the words should also be on the screen, but if you would join me together this morning in our call to worship. Come and worship all you who love and serve the Lord, outsiders and insiders, old timers and newcomers, the young, old, and the in-between. 
Come as you are. This is God's house, a house of prayer for all people. God welcomes each one who comes. Our first lesson this morning comes from Psalm chapter 133. Hear the word of God. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard on the beard of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore. Our hymn of praise this morning comes from hymn number 559. If you want to join us in your hymnal or uh, the words on the screen, please join us in singing Christ is made the sure foundation, verses 1 through 3, hymn 559. Let's sing together. kids come on up it's good to be with you this morning I'm so glad to be with you I hope you are doing okay I know that school has started and you guys I think the majority of you are doing this hybrid thing in and out one day or the next there's a lot going on um, it's good to be with you this morning I'm so glad you're here uh, I have a question question for you so I have some matches here. Do you know what matches are? Maybe you don't know what these are. Maybe they're a thing of the past. Uh, I know now there's like lighters. There's these things that you can light up, but they start fire. So I have a question. Do you believe that if I strike this match on the side of this box, that a flame will come on top of here? And then once this flame happens, if I touch the tip of this candle, if this will light. Do you believe that? Do you believe it will happen? Yeah? I don't know. What if what if this doesn't work? Or what if this doesn't work? Or what if this doesn't work? Let's see. You want to see what happens? Okay. Alright, here we go. Look, there's a flame. And it lit. And that one lit too. 
Maybe some of you were doubting. Maybe you didn't know if it was going to happen. There are some times where we just are not sure if things are going to happen. We sometimes wonder and we doubt. Today I want to talk about faith. Faith is believing that God will do what God has said God will do. Believing that God loves you and wants to do good in the world. Hebrews 11.1 1 says this, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we don't see. I know sometimes it's hard to believe in something that we cannot see. But I want you to know this morning that God, the one who sometimes is hard to see, is active and present and is around. But that God, who you may not be able to see, sees you and loves you. Let us pray. Loving God, I thank you for kids. I thank you for their faith. I thank you for who they are. I know sometimes it's hard to see. It's hard to trust you, God. But we pray that during this season that you show us and reveal yourself to us even more. and Help us to trust even when we cannot see. To have faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Now is the time where we come together as a group of people who pray. One of the things I've been saying and one of the things that uh, St. Benedict said is that our work is our prayer and our prayer is our work. We believe here that prayer undergirds all that we do, and it is the way that we are able to connect with God. And during this time, we connect with God in that way. We commune with God, but we also pray on behalf of each other because we love one another and we care for one another enough to do that. If you have a prayer request or there's something that we could be praying for or you are just thankful to God and you have a praise that you want to lift up, we invite you to do so during this time. You can put it in the comment section. You can verbalize it right there where you are. You can send an email to us. You can give us a call. And we want to be a people who pray for one another. I want to invite you to look uh, at our bulletin to look at our prayer list for the people that you can pray for specifically, but also to pray for those who are lifted up this morning. So as tradition, I'll pray and invite us into the space, and then we'll leave room and space for you to comment or to lift up your praises, and then we'll close with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you are with us. We thank you that you hear our prayer. So now, as a body with all the concerns and the praises and the things that are on our hearts, we offer them to you right now, trusting that you will hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Lord, the prayers of the people have been lifted unto you. Lord, hear our prayer in this moment. And any prayer that we have offered to you, if you so will it, put our prayers to our feet and to our hands. And may our lives be a life full of prayer. We thank you for who you are. 
meet the needs of the people in this congregation and in our community. We love you and we thank you for your great love and we pray all of these things in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our hymn of preparation this morning is hymn number 540. I love thy kingdom, Lord, and we'll be singing together verses 1, 2, and 5. Let's sing together. gospel lesson this morning comes from Matthew chapter 15 verses 10 through 28 and I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Hear the word of God. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, listen and understand, it is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached him and said to him, do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain this parable to us. Then he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart. And this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. 
Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. This is the word of God for the people of God. And we say thanks be to God. Will you pray with and for me? Lord, we, uh, we thank you for your word. We thank you that uh, you offer it to us in the person of Jesus, that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We ask that you speak to our hearts and our minds and our souls through your word this morning. And may uh, it, your word permeate itself within us so that we live more into the likeness of Jesus. Bless the hearing and the speaking of this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you burdened? Are you fearful? Are you confused about the world and life? Are you in a weird place? Does it feel like things are kind of spinning around you? I know during this particular season, as we are months in to pandemic and just a lot of chaos in our world, I am tired again. And I, this is a different kind of tired. I think many of us are really, really fatigued. We are missing our people. We are missing the way things were. Is it wearing you out? Me too. Me too. And so today we come to the well of the gospel of Jesus, the good news of Christ. And maybe we come fatigued and tired, but with desperation to hear from Jesus. Are you ready? In our gospel today, Jesus comes right after a rousing discussion or argument by the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, sort of tattletelling on the disciples, talking about whether they should wash their hands before a meal or not, which then goes into a discussion about what you put into your body and then what comes out of your mouth, what you put in through your mouth and what comes out of your heart. And they're talking about meals and food. And then we find in the second part of our gospel reading today, Jesus, who is walking, with his disciples, who is pursued by a Canaanite woman. A woman who was an outsider. One in particular that at the least did not associate with the Jewish people, and the Jewish people did not associate with Canaanites, but ultimately, too, that had been in a long tension between the two people groups. It goes back far reaching into the controversies and the tension. These people, the Jews and the Canaanites, they did not get along. And this outsider, a Gentile, this Canaanite woman, not a Jew, but a Gentile, comes and pursues Jesus. She runs into Jesus, and she asks Jesus for help. She is pleading with Jesus, and she is running after him, and she continues to stay with him and the disciples, and she pleads for help because her daughter is possessed. She is sick, and she is in need of healing for her daughter. This outsider, this Gentile, it's the first Gentile that Jesus actually runs into, 
And Jews didn't associate with Gentiles, but he runs into her. The first Gentile. And his response is quite crude, it appears, at first glance. He does not even acknowledge her presence. It's as if he ignores her. And then, after he says nothing and she continues to plead, he says, look, I've not come to bring anything to you, you dog. Which was a crude, yet accepted by both the Jews and the Gentiles. Remark, label. that kept her removed and made a very quick distinction between the Jewish people, the people of Israel, and those who were outside. Wow. You're a dog. This slur that Jesus brings to this woman And she says, with faith and with diligence, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. And Jesus quickly responds and says, woman, great is your faith. And immediately, her daughter was healed. What a weird story we hear from Jesus. We often are not fond of hearing this story because our perception and our picture of Jesus at times is that Jesus is fully divine and that he can do no wrong. But when he ignores a woman, who wants nothing more than healing for her daughter, and then not only ignores her, but then says, what I have is not for you. It is for the people of Israel. That really gets us. And then he goes further and calls her this slur. Calls her a dog. That is really hard for us to reconcile, yet she does not give up. And in this moment, it's as if Jesus is both fully human and fully divine and really struggling. Have I been called to just the Jewish people? Or is there a new opening that the Spirit is providing in this moment. Why is this story important to us today? And how, how might it speak into our lives today? I think it speaks volumes into our lives today. And one of the primary things that it addresses in this passage is faith. Faith. You know, I mentioned in the children's sermon, that passage from Hebrews that we regularly hear oftentimes in our churches. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. Faith is believing in something that we cannot see. Believing that God will do what God says God will do. That God will fulfill the promises that God has placed before us. We often look at faith as a mere statement. And we'll ask the question, 
hey, do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I believe in Jesus. And we make that statement and we proclaim that, but we often forget that the other part of faith is believing in who Jesus is and what Jesus can do, and what Jesus is already doing. It is trusting in God's plan when we don't see the full picture or plan. It is tenacious. It is a tenacious, continuing perseverance. It says, I do not give up on the plan, and I believe that you will do what you say you do. This woman so great persistence in her desperation and in her love and care for her daughter. Richard Rohr says, faith is not for overcoming the obstacles. It is for experiencing them all the way through. There are many obstacles that continue to get placed in our path. Jesus never said that we would not have obstacles. Jesus actually said, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Trust that I have overcome the world. Faith is not just merely making a statement of belief. Faith is living into the statement of of belief that you give. It is trusting in the action of God in the world and being a part of that action. And even when it is hard to see, it is saying, Jesus, help me. Help me, Jesus. Will you help me? Even though I am a dog, even though I am a mere person, Even though I do not fit in the box, even though I do not have all the faith in the world, even though I struggle, even though there are obstacles in my way, I see a greater vision because I know that you will do what you say you will do. Now, faith is the confidence in what we hope for. And the assurance about what we do not see. Brendan Manning says this. Ruthless trust ultimately comes down to this. Faith in the person of Jesus. And hope in his promise. Even us will grasp at the mere crumbs that the master drops. May we be a people of faith. A people with great persistence that even in our unseen, even though we cannot see what God is doing, that our eyes might be opened and that we might be a people who reach deep into the heart of God, that heart that God has placed in us and that heart that Jesus dwells within us and that the Spirit comes from us. May we go in faith. Maybe even the faith of an outsider to know deeply and believe in what God is doing and what healing God has in store. For God is faithful throughout all ages. May it be so. In the name of the Father and of the Son, And of the Holy Spirit, may the people of God say, 
Amen. Our hymn of invitation this morning comes from hymn number 571. Go make all disciples. And we'll be singing verses 1 and 4. Please join us singing hymn 571. together to give thanks to God for the many gifts that God has given us. And we not only receive the gifts of God on faith, but we give on faith knowing that the money and the time and the cards and all that we give and the calls and the food, all that is given, all that we pour into this world that is the goodness of God and the good news of God. That God will fulfill his promises through our work and through God's work in our partnership together. We give thanks to you people of Lambeth and beyond and for your gifts. The way that you believe that God continues to move and to work in the life and in the people of this church that pour into this community. If you have not given, we invite you to be a part of that, that it might be a place where you would give freely to help us continue the mission of God in this world. We seek to be really great stewards of your funds and ultimately God's money. We do not see it as ours, we see it as God's. And so if you would like to do that, we invite you to uh, write some cards to some folks that you know, to, to make some phone calls to some folks. If you want to be a deeper part of this place and you'd like to serve in some form or fashion, feel free to give us a call at the office, to write us a letter, to send us a message on Facebook, or even to mail in uh, a gift or a donation um, to the church here at uh, 41... 20, no, no, 1420 Hartsville Pike. What am I doing? I forgot our address. 40, uh, 4120, I mean, 14, 1420, 1420 Hartsville Pike, Gallatin, Tennessee, 37066. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Got my words twisted. You will know that we are real people who have experienced real gifts, who want to be real givers. To real people in a real world and to embody a real Jesus in it. Let's pray. God, we give you thanks for the gifts and for the giver. Help us to have faith during the season to know that you will continue uh, to bring your gifts and that we can give freely and that as we give freely, you give to others. Help us to be a people grateful for the gift. We give thanks to you and all of who you are, and we believe in your continued purpose in this world.
in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would join together as we praise God and give thanks for these gifts and we sing the doxology. benediction. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. Go in faith and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen.